Who hath ascended up into heaven, or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fists? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name, if thou canst tell? Every word of God is pure. He is a shield unto them that put their trust in him. Add thou not unto his words, lest he reprove thee, and thou be found a liar. Many Israelites and indigenous black people read the Bible the way they were taught to read a regular book in the beast system. The workers of iniquity deceive the masses in religion to believe the way they are reading the events that took place and future prophecies in the Bible happen in the order they are placed in the Bible. Israelites, there is no way you can understand the scriptures without the Holy Spirit. The Bible is not a regular book. To understand, you must compare what is spiritual with spiritual things. Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. It is the Spirit of the Most High that will teach us about His words, not human wisdom. The disciples of Satan rely on the other species of mankind, seminary school system, to learn how to decode the Bible. The other species of mankind's wisdom stems from the flesh, the word of the most highest spirit. The scripture is made it known that the flesh and the spirit are contrary to one another. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. Seeking the flesh to learn about spiritual things will place you in bondage. So many indigenous black people are in bondage via the pagan church. Before the awakening, the people of the Most High relied on the high level workers of iniquity and religion to teach them about the word of the Most High. How can the disciples of Satan teach the word when they do not have the spirit of the Most High dwelling in them? Even the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it seeth him not, neither knoweth him, but ye know him, for he dwelleth with you. And shall be in you. The disciples of Satan are a representation of the world and its beast culture. Therefore, the Holy Spirit do not dwell in the disciples of Satan. Only the people of the Most High has the Holy Spirit living in them. The heathens rely on familiar spirits to decode spiritual things. Remember, Satan imitates everything the Most High does. The Most High has the Holy Spirit. Satan used familiar spirits to imitate the Holy Spirit. Familiar spirits are unclean spirits that travel in a person's bloodline and study that family. Witches and warlocks use familiar spirits to get to know their victims. Also, to deceive their victims with false prophecies. The scriptures gave us an example of a witch using familiar spirits. The scriptures spoke about the woman at Endor that King Saul seek to get answers. And when Saul inquired of the Lord, the Lord answered him not neither by dreams, nor by Urim, nor by prophets. Then said Saul unto his servants, Seek me a woman that hath a familiar spirit, that I may go to her, and inquire of her. And his servants said to him, Behold, there is a woman that hath a familiar spirit at Endor. Israelites, it never end well for you when you seek the people with familiar spirits to get answers from the Most High. King Saul suffered a terrible death. His kingship was taken away and transferred to David. You should never seek those with a familiar spirit to know about your life. False prophets use familiar spirits to prophesy lies to the people. The church system in the beast culture rely on familiar spirits. That is why religion is sorcery. The scriptures made it known not to entangle yourself with anyone who have familiar spirits because they would defile you. Regard not them that have familiar spirits. Neither seek after wizards, to be defiled by them. I am the Lord your God. What the people perceive to be the Holy Spirit operating in their pastors or spiritual leaders in religion are familiar spirits from the kingdom of darkness instructing and prophesying lies to the people. 
The Israelites and indigenous black people must seek the most high to receive his spirit to begin to understand spiritual things. The scriptures made it known that it is the Holy Spirit that revealed truth and tell us the things to come. Albeit when he, the spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Do not confuse the Most High's Holy Spirit with familiar spirits in religion. The synagogue of Satan disguised familiar spirits used to deceive the people as the Holy Ghost. Israelites and indigenous black people, the deception goes deep. There are levels to the deception. Reading the Bible like you read a regular book will leave you confused. The Bible is not in chronological order. In addition, the word of the Most High was never meant to be divided. The scriptures made it known anything divided cannot stand. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation, and every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. Israelites, it is important that you are aware that the Bible is not in chronological order. Therefore, some of the events we read did not happen in the order it was placed in the Bible. In addition, there are many scriptures missing from the Bible. Dividing the Bible into two testaments should have never happened. The workers of iniquity divided the Bible into the Old and New Testaments to better support their narrative. The first narrative is that the Old Covenant is fulfilled. Someone please let the synagogue of Satan and the indigenous black people who follow their every word in religion inform them that an everlasting covenant does not expire. Everlasting means forever. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. The covenant between Abraham and the Most High is that the Most High would be a God to Abraham and his descendants. Also, the Most High promised to give Abraham the land of Canaan for a possession. What part of being a God to Abraham and his descendants required the covenant to be fulfilled? Did the Most High set a limit to how long he would be a God to his people? To the indigenous black people in religion, you should ask your pastor or religious leaders how an everlasting covenant can be fulfilled. The Most High established many covenants with his people. In every generation, the Most High renew the covenant he made with Abraham. That is how he is known as the Elohim of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. How can the covenant be fulfilled if the Most High made sure to transfer the covenant in every generation? Jacob secured the everlasting covenant for his descendants when the Most High appeared to him in a dream and Jacob accepted the Most High's offer. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. And he called the name of that place Bethel, but the name of that city was called Luz at the first. And Jacob vowed a vow, saying, If God will be with me, and will keep me in this way that I go, and will give me bread to eat, and raiment to put on, so that I come again to my father's house in peace, then shall the Lord be my God. And this stone which I have set up for a pillar, shall be God's house. And of all that thou shalt give me, I will surely give the tenth unto thee. The workers of iniquity want to push the narrative of the old covenant being fulfilled to better insert the serpent seed. The Most High made it known that he would make a new covenant with the same people he made the previous covenant with, the Israelites. Establishing covenants with his people is how the Most High operates. There are multiple covenants the Most High made with his people. A previous covenant do not have to expire to establish another covenant. Religion want you to focus on the so-called new covenant to deceive the indigenous black people into accepting the new characters in the New Testament. For the Most High to operate in his people's lives, he established covenants. Covenants are agreements. The kingdom of darkness must get your permission as well. The way Satan established covenants is through deception. 
The new covenant the synagogue of Satan failed to disclose is that the Most High would write his laws in the heart and mind of his people. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was an husband unto them, saith the Lord. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. The synagogue of Satan want you to believe John 3.16 is the new covenant. Although John 3.16 is a covenant made with the Israelites, it is not the new covenant religion is referring to. With the Most High writing his laws into his people's heart and mind lead to the second narrative the synagogue of Satan is pushing by dividing the Bible to the Old and New Testaments. The synagogue of Satan in religion proclaim the laws of the Most High are done away with. The Most High said he would write his laws into the heart and mind of his people via a new covenant. Why are the high level workers of iniquity proclaiming the laws are done away with? What God would abolish his laws? For as long as I've been alive, the laws of the nation that I dwell in never expired. As new leaders and the perception of the people change, the workers of iniquity amend laws. However, they never abolish their laws. How can you govern the people without laws? Think not that I am come to destroy the law or the prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Every time I use Matthew chapter 5 verse 17, I make sure to let you know exactly what Yeshua came to fulfill. It is good to clarify because the people of the Most High have been deceived by the workers of iniquities, false interpretation of the scriptures in religion. Yeshua came to fulfill what was written about him. The synagogue of Satan failed to disclose what he came to fulfill to better push the narrative of the laws being done away with. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in the Psalms concerning me. The laws are not prophecies. How do you fulfill laws? There are countless prophecies about Yahshua written in the scriptures. Of course, when Yahshua said he came to fulfill, he was referring to the prophecies that are written about him. The laws of the Most High are the supreme laws. The workers of iniquity want the people of the Most High to become lawless to increase their sins. The longer the people of the Most High remain in sin, the longer the kingdom of darkness rule. The time has come for you to repent, indigenous black people. Israelites, it is important that you have the Holy Spirit. Only the Spirit of the Most High will reveal this truth to you. If you don't take control of your destiny, the kingdom of darkness will take control of your destiny and alter your destiny that you would never accomplish what the Most High intended for you. Follow the word of the Most High and work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, Work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. The dividing of the scriptures to create the Old and New Testaments was done to glorify Satan in the New Testament, as well as to insert the serpent seed into the scriptures. By inserting the other species of mankind into the Bible, the serpent seed who don't belong gain an inheritance by stealing the identity of the indigenous black people. In addition, made it easier for the kingdom of darkness to control the indigenous black people through religion. The Bible documents the history of the Israelites and the Most High. The Bible is also a collection of prophecies that were fulfilled and some waiting to be fulfilled. Because the scriptures are mostly dreams and vision by different prophets and people, you can't divide the Bible into two testaments. You need the Holy Spirit to give you understanding of the scriptures. When Yahshua said to the disciples that he came to fulfill everything written concerning him, the disciples couldn't understand. 
It wasn't until Yahshua opened their understanding they were able to comprehend what he meant and the scriptures. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. If the Most High do not give you understanding of his words, you will not understand the scriptures. Not all people was given the opportunity to know the mysteries. Religion will have you believe that all people was given the opportunity. That is incorrect. To some, it was not given to know the mysteries written in the scriptures. He answered and said unto them, Because it is given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. But to them it is not given. The other species of mankind cannot teach the indigenous black people about their Elohim. Remember, Israelites, you are the only family the Most High knows. Everyone outside of the Israelite bloodline are strangers to the Most High. History revealed it was the indigenous black people who taught the other species of mankind how to be civilized. How are they fit to know the truth of the Most High's words without the spirit of the Most High? The scriptures warn the people of the Most High to never put a stranger over you. Israelites, you cannot depend on human wisdom that operates independently from the Most High for truth. You must go directly to the source. Thou shalt in any wise set him king over thee. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose, one from among thy brethren shalt thou set king over thee. Thou mayest not set a stranger over thee, which is not thy brother. The scriptures said to some it was not given to know the mysteries. Israelites, the reason you cannot read the Bible like a regular book, most of the scriptures are visions and dreams the prophets of old and some Israelites had while serving the Most High. The Most High instruct his prophets to write down what they saw in their dreams and visions. The scriptures reveal to us that the Most High speak to his people through their dreams. More than 90% of the scriptures are visions and dreams. God speaketh once, yea, twice. Yet man perceiveth it not. In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men, in slumberings upon the bed, then he openeth the ears of men, and sealeth their instruction. When the Most High transferred the everlasting covenant to Jacob, the scriptures reported that Jacob was sleeping. In his dream, the Most High appeared to Jacob to transfer the everlasting covenant. Once Jacob woke up from his dream, he accepted what the Most High offered him. The transferring of the everlasting covenant was done successfully. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold, a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold, the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. Israelites, I hope you discern how important it is to establish or break covenants as soon as you wake up from your sleep. If Jacob ignored his dream and went about his day, the transferring of the everlasting covenant would have failed. A lot of us have zero understanding of the dreams and visions we have daily. For us to understand our dreams and vision, an anointed person with the gift of interpreting dreams must give you the interpretation. The anointed person must get understanding from the Most High. Daniel had to seek the Most High first before he could interpret King Nebuchadnezzar's dreams. Then Daniel went to his house and made the thing known to Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah, his companions, that they would desire mercies of the God of heaven concerning the secret that Daniel and his fellows should not perish with the rest of the wise men of Babylon. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. Then Daniel blessed the God of heaven. If the Most High do not interpret your dreams and visions, you will never understand the meaning behind what you saw in the spirit realm. Likewise, Israelites, the prophecies written in the Bible are visions and dreams from the prophets of old. 
Only the Most High can give you understanding of what was written, despite of all the alterations done to the scriptures. And they said unto him, We have dreamed a dream, and there is no interpreter of it. And Joseph said unto them, Do not interpretations belong to God? Tell me them, I pray you. When the workers of iniquity function as if they are knowledgeable about the scriptures, they are using sorcery and familiar spirits to deceive you. The workers of iniquity taught altering the scriptures to change the narrative as well as to include the serpent seed would stop the hands of the Most High. The Holy Spirit dwell in the people of the Most High. Once the Israelites begin to interact with the Spirit of the Most High, an awakening takes place. The people of the Most High became the temple that housed the Holy Spirit, connecting the people of the Most High to their Elohim. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. But the temple of God is holy, which temple ye are. The kingdom of darkness is aware how close the Most High is to his people. Satan seeks to destroy the connection through religion and sin. The moment the people of the Most High accept religion, they fell into the sin of idolatry and sorcery. The only thing that separates the Most High from his people is sin and iniquity. The scriptures made it known sin separates the Most High from his people. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. The Most High always have a remnant that are called by his name. Because he preserve a remnant, the awakening among the indigenous black people is taking place right now. The people of the Most High will remain connected if they follow the guidance of the Holy Spirit. Because many are returning to serve the Most High in the Spirit and in truth, it has sparked the awakening which the scriptures foretold. And it shall come to pass, when all these things are come upon thee, the blessing and the curse which I have set before thee, and thou shalt call them to mind among all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath driven thee, and shalt return unto the Lord thy God, and shalt obey his voice according to all that I command thee this day, thou and thy children, with all thine heart, and with all thy soul, that then the Lord thy God will turn thy captivity, and have compassion upon thee, and will return and gather thee from all the nations whither the Lord thy God hath scattered thee, if any of thine be driven out unto the utmost parts of heaven, from thence will the Lord thy God gather thee, and from thence will he fetch thee. Israelites, do not view the Bible in the perspective of the workers of iniquity whom Satan used to alter the scriptures. Satan influenced the New Testament believers to not interact with the Old Testament via the doctrines of devils about the Old Covenant being fulfilled and the laws are done away with. Satan managed to deceive the Israelites who read the scriptures without the Holy Spirit to forsake the New Testament because of the alterations. As the people of the Most High began to grow spiritually and they utilized the help the Most High gave to them, what was altered will become known and what is missing, the Most High will disclose it. But there is nothing covered that shall not be revealed, neither hid that shall not be known. Israelites, it is important that you understand if the New Testament is altered, the Old Testament is altered as well. The entire Bible is altered. When the workers of iniquity removed certain manuscripts, the Bible became incomplete. David authored majority of the scriptures in the book of Psalms. During King David's era, the word saint was not a part of the Israelites' vocabulary. Seeing the word saint in a psalm written by David is an alteration. The church culture did not exist during King David's generation. Everyone was identified by their bloodline. The Most High always called his people by the names he has given to them. Saint is not one of those names. There were no Catholic saints during David's generation. Today, the disciples are known as saints in the church culture. There were no disciples during King David's era. The word saint came from the Roman Catholic Church. The Levites were responsible for the house of the Most High. The Levites are a tribe selected by the Most High to care for his house. The Most High never referred to the Levites as saints. The Israelites interacted with the Most High via his spirit and the anointed prophets in King David's generation. 
The scriptures inform us that the Most High was with David from the day he was anointed king. Then Samuel took the horn of oil and anointed him in the midst of his brethren. And the spirit of the Lord came upon David from that day forward. So Samuel rose up and went to Ramah. Just because you found the word saint in the Old Testament, this does not conclude the word saint was a name the Most High called his people. The word Jew was first introduced in the Old Testament in the book of 2 Kings. We all know the word Jew was added in the scriptures in the 18th century. Somehow, the word Jew is found in the Old Testament. I hope these two examples are enough evidence to convince you that the Old Testament was also tampered with. Israelites, do not let the alterations done in the Bible stop you from reading the scriptures. There are hidden truth in the New Testament. The Messiah that was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel is shadow banned in the New Testament. However, if you read the scriptures with the Holy Spirit, he is all over the New Testament, guiding the Israelites back to the Father. But the Son of Man is come to save that which was lost. The word of the Most High warned everyone not to add or take away from the scriptures. The Most High said if you add and take away from the scriptures, your name would be written out of the book of life. For I testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecy of this book. If any man shall add unto these things, God shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, God shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from the things which are written in this book. When Satan used the counsel of Nicaea to alter the scriptures and to insert images of their likeness into the scriptures, the workers of iniquity disobeyed the commands of the Most High. All who participated in altering the scriptures will partake in the judgment reserved for those who alter the scriptures. Remember, the iniquity of the fathers transferred to the children all the way to the fourth generation. Israelites and indigenous black people, I want to make you aware that you don't have to be present or participate in altering the scriptures to be guilty of this sin. When you accept their narratives and close your ears to truth, you are just as guilty as the members of the council of Nicaea who altered the scriptures. The Most High said to his people, do not follow the heathens and do not be partakers with them. Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Lay hands suddenly on no man, neither be partaker of other men's sins. Keep thyself pure. When you participate and accept their belief, you are just as guilty as the heathens. It is important to not participate in another person's sins and iniquity. You will be judged just like the person who committed the offense. This generation of Israelites were not present when our people disobeyed the Most High, yet we are partakers in the judgment against our ancestors who sinned. Until this day, the workers of iniquity are altering the scriptures. Now that the people of the Most High is waking up in large numbers, the synagogue of Satan continue to alter the scriptures to cause confusion. I have seen many words change and scriptures removed over the years. Open Diary has been on YouTube. Israelites, the only way to understand the word of the Most High in the Bible is to have the spirit of the Most High guiding you. Without the Holy Spirit, you will fall into the kingdom of darkness trap in religion. In addition, every time you read the scriptures, it won't make sense. The Bible will appear to contradict itself. The scriptures are confusing to the people who are self-righteous and study the scriptures with human wisdom and independently from the Most High. The scriptures are sealed. Only the Most High can unseal them. The Bible is a collection of prophecies and the historical journey of the chosen people with their God. The scriptures are not meant to be divided into the Old and New Testaments. Israelites, the time has come for you to stop viewing the world in the perspective of the synagogue of Satan. You don't belong to that kingdom. Israelites, allow the Most High to show you what is hidden in his words. Therefore, whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man, which built his house upon a rock. And the rain descended, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and 
beat upon that house, and it fell not, for it was founded upon a rock.